Very good episode of Kuzu no Hankai this week. Really enjoyed this. I watched it with a friend, and damn, episode can hit you right in the feels. It, it can. So this episode of Kuzu no Hankai. So it, this episode was basically the episode into which we have Hanabi and Mugi finally declaring their love to their you know, individuals that they have had a crush on ever since the beginning that they have met them. So before we actually talk about Mugi's side and also Hanabi's side, what happened in this episode, first let's talk about the two individuals in general on how they feel about each other. So through these episodes, through the whole series of Kuzu no Hankai up to this given point, we have seen these two characters slowly start to develop and, you know, have feelings for each other and also, you know, just slowly growing up, finding, you know, what they actually want to do with themselves. Because, you know, since the beginning of the series, it, you know, we had characters uh, that were, you know, were making stupid decisions, very stupid decisions, including Hanabi for that matter. Mostly Han Hanabi. Wow, I almost knocked off my glasses as I said that. But mostly Hanabi. Mugi as well. But Hanabi, Hanabi has been the most, you know, confused character in this whole series. But it seems she is finally ready to move on, which is great. And so is Mugi. It seems like he is ready to move on as well. So when, when it comes to Mugi and Hanabi just being together, you know, they have quelled their loneliness and have also gotten to the point in which they are, you know, falling in love with each other that they are actually forgetting their crushes who, you know, they used to like. Now, when it comes to this episode, you know, <laughs> this is where it gets a little bit contradictory, but let me explain. So, Mugi, let's talk about Mugi for a second, okay? Mugi is ready to move on, you know, he is, you know, ready, he even declares to Hanabi that, you know, he has feelings for her he even hugs her in this episode and is basically hugging her saying you know thanks for everything not exactly as in like a goodbye hug but more so it like the hug had more meaning he's basically saying that through his body language that he's thanking Hanabi up uh, you know that that all she has done she has helped quell his loneliness and has made him move on and in a way Mugi has done the same exact thing but when it comes to Mugi like he has moved on he has even told Akane to meet up with him and that he expressed his feelings toward her and he even knows that she is a vile woman she knows it or he knows exactly what she does who the person she is a liar, a cheater, you know, just uh, everything of above. But this is where it gets a little contradictory that I don't really know why he does this. Uh, I mean, maybe it was for the reason that, you know, in a way he wanted to do it, but j just for the old sake of just doing it, <laughs> doing his teacher, because it, apparently Mugi and Akane actually had uh, sex in this episode. But the thing is, is that uh, I don't really know where Mugi is coming from. I mean, he basically just tells Akane that I'm going to be your first. I am going to change you into a better person, I guess, by having sex. But I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's probably someone out there that can give me a more in-depth look on the whole situation between Akane and Mugi, but at least, you know, when it comes down to, you know, what Mugi did, I thought it was a little bit, you know, hypocritical to what he just stated. I mean, he is starting to develop feelings for Hanabi. He knows that Akane is a vile person, and even, you know, she probably doesn't even have the same exact feelings for Mugi. You know, he, Mugi knows that she is lying, but still ends up continuing, you know, having sex with her. So, I don't know. That, that's just my perspective on it. Now, when it comes to Hanabi's side, it was actually very surprising and quite emotional. So Hanabi actually calls out her, you know, teacher, her Oni-chan, okay? And she actually does declare her love 
for, you know, him. And the guy has apparently been clueless this whole entire time. Now, if you go back to my review a while ago, I stated that, you know, the reason why probably he, you know, is you know, acting the way he acts in front of Hanabi is because deep down inside, he knows that Hanabi actually likes him and he does not, you know, want to hurt her feelings. He does not want to reveal that he knows that she has liked him. However, in this episode as well, you know, I, I think it also clarified that that may be the case because Hanabi said that uh, she has or he has been completely oblivious to the fact that she actually liked her But all we really see on the teacher's expression is that he just walks right up to Hanabi and Hugs her and lets her cry her eyes off and that is pretty much the scene that gets pretty emotional I mean that it was a pretty it was a heart-wrenching scene. I, I will say that I mean it, it was nice to see Hanabi actually declare you know that she likes you know her the person that she looked up to the person who she has respected but she knows that she cannot get this love back from you know him you know it's a one-sided thing okay um but yeah i still have a feeling that i'm pretty sure that he has known all this time that's really why he didn't say anything you know, he wanted to wait until Hanabi was actually ready. He could not give the feelings to Hanabi, but, you know, he he cares for her enough that he is willing to let uh, to lend her a, sh a shoulder to cry on, so to speak. So, I really like that part of the episode. I also like Mugi's part of the episode. There's just a little bit of iffiness that I felt with uh, Mugi's character right there. But when it comes down to the whole episode in general, it was great. Character development, I liked. They can finally move on with each other and just, you know, ignore the people that they used to love because they know that they will not get that in return. And even if it is in return, it's just going to be one-sided. So, I'm very interested to see how this series is going to finish off because, I mean, Mugi and Hanabi have technically developed feelings for each other, so we may finally see that they are actually going to become a thing by the next episode or two, which is good because since the series, I've been rooting for the two, honestly. They have developed into really good characters. I mean, at least in my personal opinion, I know that a lot of people apparently have, you know bad opinions of this anime for some odd reason but hey you know your opinion is your opinion okay my opinion is my opinion so we'll, we'll respect each other's opinions <laughs> but um yeah I, I mean good character development loving the direction of where this series is going to probably finish off hopefully we actually do see Hanabi and Mugi connect with each other and you know, it's just a good episode. I really like this episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you guys thought about this episode. What did you think about Mugi's decision on what he did, how he moved on? What do you think on Hanabi's decision, how she moved on? Which one did you like the most? Just let me know your overall thoughts on the two perspectives of the characters that you thought, you know, really made an impact on the series so far. And where do you think, you know this series is going to finish off on do you think Mugi and Hanabi are actually going to be in a relationship with one another or do you think that you know it won't happen uh, maybe, maybe it won't happen and also one thing I forgot to mention is that we saw a little bit of uh, like a little bit of a flashback between um, Ed Sean's uh, childhood friend apparently that uh, she states that she does not want to love him because of the fact that you know, she is obviously, you know, a lesbian. You know, she likes girls. She she likes Hanabi. So he knows that she will never end up loving him or even, you know, take, uh, take a second glance at him, so to speak. Because, you know, the, the way she is, you, you can't change a person the way they are. You can't change, you know, how they like a person. If they like a person, they like a person. The only time when someone is actually going to stop loving someone or stop liking someone is them themselves. So you really can't change that. And the guy even respected, you know, her opinion on this. He said, if you like this girl, 
I like this girl, you know? So I, I thought that her childhood friend was really, really respectable on that. And, it, you know, it, it, even if, you know, uh, you know, uh, she didn't declare his love to him when, she, uh, you know, he actually declared the love, you know, he was still rejected, but yet he still respects her her opinion. So I really like this episode, especially on that note. This episode had a lot of characterization and a little bit of reveals, I will say that. So let me know your thoughts now in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Hit that red subscribe button down below if you wish to stay updated to my future content. And that will be it for this review. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you all in the next one.